Hey guys, it's Mark and Laurie with Gables on the Go down here in the Florida Keys. Hey y'all. Hey, and uh, we're going to shoot a video today for you. We're going out for a bike ride around a neighborhood and you guys always seem to like those videos a lot. So yep. we'll show you a real pretty neighborhood in Marathon, Florida in the beautiful sunny Florida Keys. And this neighborhood <laughs> is called the BTA behind the airport neighborhood. <laughs> it is. <laughs> BTA behind the airport in Marathon. Yep. All right, guys, come along with us. We'll take a little ride. All right, let's go. You guys can might be able to hear our our microphone. I mean, our uh, bicycles. Uh, they're squeaking and popping. Everything down here in the keys rusts, Very and uh, <laughs> we hadn't had our bikes out in a long time. And these bikes yeah. are making all kind of racket right now. But anyway, guys, we're behind the airport in Marathon. Uh, it's the neighborhood that Laurie and I have just purchased our home in and uh, it's got waterfront houses, non-waterfront houses, houses on the lower end of the price point, price price points at the lower end and houses as much as you want to spend. <laughs> and a few vacant lots back here. Yeah, what would you say, uh, what would you say price range would be in here, babe? What, off the water? Off the water, probably down to 750 800 off the water yeah some of the houses over there on some of the roads off aviation might go they might go what in the five or sixes some of those houses and then yeah, that's true and then some of the houses will go up to what would you think a high in this neighborhood would be maybe Three million? Three to four million. Three, four so million, something like that. A lot of them with open water views. Yeah, yeah. And obviously the houses that have open water views are always going to be more expensive or on the water. Mm -hmm. They're going to be more expensive than the ones that aren't. Yeah. Hello. Hello. One thing that Laurie and I really love about this neighborhood, what drew us to this neighborhood um, was all the foliage in here. If you come to the Florida Keys and you ride up and down the roads down here, you'll notice right off the bat that most of the neighborhoods are just kind of streets with not a lot of foliage. There's uh, basically gravel yards. Grass is very difficult to grow down here and keep maintained because you got to water it all the time. And um, so you'll see a lot of houses that just really don't have a whole lot of foliage around them. But Laurie and I have always been attracted to the homes that have, you know, nice tropical foliage. Yes, we are. Palm trees. <laughs> Palm trees, pretty flowers, pretty plants. Yeah. This makes you feel like you're in the Keys. Like it you're does. like you live in the islands. Yeah, like an island. Because our, it is. <laughs> yeah. Well, our little house down in Ramrod was kind of a good example of that. We didn't really, we had a few palm trees, but we really didn't have a lot of tropical foliage or. You no, know, we could have added that landscaping if we'd chosen to, but um, we just really weren't there long enough to do that. That's true. And it, and it can get quite expensive to do that. Yeah. I mean, look at this driveway. This is beautiful. Oh, I know. I like that. The paver driveways. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty. Very nice. See these houses out here to our right. I don't know if you can see my finger, but to the right, uh, they're all facing the open water out there. It's really windy today, so I hope this wind doesn't mess our microphones up, but this is a pretty house right here for sure. And this one's cool because it's elevated because the lot is elevated rather than the house being stilted. Yeah. Which is nice because you don't have the stairs to climb. That's As a true. Contrast, if you look to our left coming up, <laughs> this house is stilted to the max, but they have a good purpose for it. They put their RV under there for storage, and I'm sure they could fit a boat or whatever else they needed to under there. Yeah. Very tall garages. Um, that's another way to go. Yeah. And you could put an elevator in. You could. If you need to. We do see elevators down here from time to time. Or um, chair lifts. 
Yep, chair lifts, Sometimes. elevators, cargo lifts. Mm -hmm. We see those a lot down here. Um, they're pretty pricey. I think the last time I talked with a homeowner that was putting in one of those, you know, the full-on elevators outside where, you know, it's handicap accessible and all that other stuff, I want to say that was, that was like $30,000. It's pretty, it's getting, getting to the time of year when we're going to start seeing the bougainvilleas start blooming. The frangipanis are already blooming. They're beautiful. Um, that's, that's one thing about this time of year in the Keys. Everything kind of comes to life and the colors. The Royal Poncianas, they're so, so pretty. Orange, bright. If you're coming down through the Florida Keys and you see the big fluffy looking trees on the side of the road with lots of green and then big bright bursts of orange, um, those are Royal Poncianas. Is that right, babe? I believe so, and those big, they, they have very, very large green bean looking pods on them. They're yeah, the side, yeah. They're like a foot long almost. Yeah, that's they're right. They're crazy big. The Poncianas have that. Poncianas, I don't know if Poncianas. I'm saying it right. <laughs> and so on the right, this is a cool little gateway into this property. Yeah, that is They've cool. They've got a cute little door. Looks like a magical enchanted forest. Yeah, that house was right around $3 million, wasn't it? Yeah, right around, yeah. and it was, it's not on the water, but it's huge. I think they have actually two houses back there, three car garage, um, huge swimming pool above above the uh, ground, but it's, it's kind of like it's built in, but they just use coral rocks to surround it, so it almost looks built in. Yeah. Interesting. And you guys don't get the wrong impression right off the bat. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, Laurie and I do live in this neighborhood, <laughs> but we do not live in a $3 million house. We no, don't live we do in a million not. dollar house. So, um, you know, their price ranges down here in the Keys are kind of all over the place. And of course, as you guys have probably kept with, up with online, um, prices have gone up a ton down here in the Florida Keys. It's just part of it. I think it's true everywhere. And, um, but there's still ways to get down here to the Keys, you know, um, everybody's budget's different, I realize, so, you know. Um, but, you know, you can, you can find houses down here in the Keys still in the five to $600,000 range. They won't be on the water, most likely. You can find condos in the 300, 400 range. And if you want to get really creative, yeah, you could buy a mobile home that's on a lot. Yeah and get the lot for basically just paying for the lot and the mobile home is just there and yeah. then eventually now of course you might probably have to pay cash for it yeah but if the yeah. mobile home is there you could use it for a while until you got ready to demo yeah and then build whatever kind of house you wanted to and then um, yeah you get to use it and then go ahead and make your dream house that's right that's right check out the view yeah let's check out that view look here this is pretty, and it says no trespassing, so I'm not going to trespass. We're just going to be on the side of the road here. <laughs> on the side of the road, but I want you to see how pretty this is out here. Um, this neighborhood is on the Gulf side, um, so what you're looking at out there is the Gulf of Mexico. And uh, we could ride over US-1 over on the other side of the airport, and if we found a lot where we could show you this same view, you'd be looking at the Atlantic Ocean south towards the reef. So this is uh, actually the Gulf of Mexico right here. And lots like this one may or may not be for sale. I don't think this one's for sale. Oop, gotta no. get back on my bike. <laughs> I think the people I'm that busting my own the house right there butt. on that. And, uh, yeah. You know, maybe they're keeping it for one day to put a pool in there or something like that because you could do that. And maybe they have a building allocation that one day they'll build on it. One note of interest down here, guys, uh, whether you're coming down here vacationing or considering buying a house down here, uh, Marathon, the whole city limits of Marathon for single family residences um, allow for seven night vacation rentals. And uh, so you can actually buy a home down here and then rent. Hello. Hello. You can uh, rent your house out as a vacation rental seven nights at a time. If you get outside the marathon area, uh, a lot of times you are looking at 28 night 
minimum rentals. So a little bit more challenging in those areas to you know, consistently rent your home out. Not everybody can come down to the Florida Keys a month at a time, but uh, that is one nice thing about buying in the Marathon area is that you do have the option of renting your home out for a vacation rental seven nights at a time. So this neighborhood that we're in is an example of that. Now I would say most of these houses in here are not rentals. I, yeah, I, think I never see is, rental signs or anything. This is like mostly that. full time. Unless it's waterfront, there's a few waterfront vacation rentals over there, but these houses in the interior are not vacation rentals yeah. in general. So we're going to cross the road here and go down a little bit. We yeah, they get... put in this bike path along yeah. the back side of the airport right here. Um, and they improved it this past year, put this little uh, you know, vegetation along the side and a nice little bike path along here. and walking path and that kind of thing. Hello. Hey. Hi. How's it going? Good. 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 Let's go down Marlin. Hey, see what, uh, hey, let's ride up there and show them the boat ramp real quick. Okay. Since we're there. Yeah, the boat ramp's really close to us, which yeah. anywhere in Marathon, there's a boat ramp relatively yeah, close. Most places in Marathon are close to a boat ramp one way or the other. This one is about two or three blocks from our house. It's a good boat ramp to put in at. The uh, City of Marathon just initiated a new program down here where they're charging a fee to uh, launch at these ramps around town. I think there's three, I believe, public ramps where you can pay a fee and go launch. You can see it over there in front of Laurie. We'll ride over there so you can get a closer look. Um, this is a brand new program here in Marathon, so we, I'm not even sure how Hi. things work. Hey! Good, how are you? <laughs> Good. Seeing friends everywhere. Look how pretty that is out through there, guys. There's the there's the boat ramp. Sorry for the shaky camera, but I was trying to get off my bike. But uh, they've got the boat ramp there and could be a bike ramp. <laughs> don't, try don't test it as a bike <laughs> ramp. I don't want to fish you out of the water right now. <laughs> anyway, those houses over there behind it are fairly new. But um, they literally just uncovered that pay machine right there where you got to pay a fee to launch. I have no idea how it works yet. And by the way, Laurie and I, uh, you know, we did live on the water down in Ramrod, but we bought a house with almost a half acre lot. Uh, didn't think I'd ever live off the water in the Florida Keys, but you know, plans change. And he we made got a sacrifice a, for me. I Wasn't did. That sweet. We got a lot bigger yard. Um, we, you know, a, a nicer house. We didn't put all of our money into just being waterfront. But I will tell you, we have a very, very nice situation. Some good friends of ours own a home right down at the end of the road. They have a second dock and uh, he allows me to dock my boat at his dock. And now we got the best of both worlds. Our boat's in the water. And, uh, but you know, even if that wasn't the case, keeping the boat on the trailer in the yard would be no big deal. We've got the space for it. You can see people right over there has got their motor home parked out in their yard. And uh, we could have the boat on the trailer literally within the neighborhood, just come down the street, launch the boat, and there you go. Let's turn right on Tuna. On Tuna, okay. Tuna, tuna Drive. You can see there's there's houses of all sizes in here, you know, and all different price points, and um, it's kind of a wide range of items. And you can tell this is an older neighborhood with all the older ground level houses. Yeah. Um, because you know current code is is above flood, so you couldn't build one of these today. Yeah. But these are here because they were built probably before 1974. Five. 74. 74, I think into 74 was what we call pre firm. So that was before the flood insurance rate maps were put in place in the Florida Keys. And um, those are considered pre firm houses. And you can still have a ground level house down here, but it's going to be an older one. Or you're going to have to, if you wanted to build a ground level house down here now, your lot itself would have to be above flood. If you're wondering what that means, give me a call. I'll 
give you some information about that. Laurie and I will put our number on the screen so you can get in touch with us. Um, and for those of you that don't know, Laurie and I are real estate agents down here in the Florida Keys. So um, if you have any questions on homes down here, always feel free to give us a call. We're happy to talk with you and um, kind of you know point you in the right direction with questions you may have about any given property down here. Hey, hey. Um, did we go? We oh, haven't oh. been down this road. Look at that little guy right there oh, guarding oh, the trampoline. On the trampoline. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that French penny. Oh, yeah. That's pretty. Oh, There's wow. a bunch of frangipanis coming up right here that are pretty. They're all different colors and beautiful. And you said that's what they make the Hawaiian lays out of, babe? That's what someone told me. Yeah. I haven't actually researched it yet. Yeah. Hey guys, I, I, I guess you've noticed during the videos we're riding around, um, and we've said it in many of our videos before this, the people down here in the Florida Keys are friendly. They're just friendly, friendly people. They are. I mean, you go out riding your bike or walking and everybody's saying hello and they're waving. And um, we've been so impressed since we've lived here. This is almost three and a half years that we've been here now. and. Um, not in this neighborhood, but in the Keys. And we just keep remarking on how friendly the people in the Florida Keys are. I don't know, maybe everybody's just happy because they're down here. <laughs> I think so, sunshine makes everybody happy. Sunshine and salt water. Of course, I will say you get what you give, right? And we always wave at everybody and say hello. That's true. <laughs> so. We have some people that come through the neighborhood on their golf carts riding around oh, yeah. in the evening, come and they'll stop and talk to us and hang out for a little while. Yeah, sure do. Well, guys, we've ho hoped you enjoyed this little bike ride tour through our neighborhood. Um, like I said before, please give us a call. We'd love to answer questions for you. Uh, if you're just starting your search for a, a home down here in the Florida Keys, um, Laurie and I love to help people. We start way in advance we don't mind talking to people who are not ready to buy right now and try to give you some information and help you with your home research online and give you some info as you're looking and you know whenever your day comes that you're ready to buy a house down here in the florida keys um, you know hopefully we've built a little bit of a relationship if it's just over the phone uh, to, to help you out as buyers agents if you have a home down here in the Florida Keys and you want to sell your home, well, if you're watching this video right now, go left there, Beth. Okay. This is Porgy Drive. If, you watch, if you're watching this video right now, you and a whole bunch of tens of thousands of people will be watching it as well. And uh, we put the homes that we list on our YouTube channel and you get that exposure from that. And so uh, we can do listings. We are buyer's agents as well. And we are more than happy to help you down here. And don't feel worried to call us that we're going to pressure you into buying or looking or anything like that. We're, we are very laid back. That we, is right. If somebody calls and says, I just want to ask a question, just call us and ask a question. Yeah, and you okay. say, that's all I want. And you say, okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and we're fine with that. Yeah. You know, wouldn't you like to know somebody that you could just call and ask a simple question whenever you have one? Fair warning, though, if you get me on the phone, I will talk your ear off if you want to. <laughs> he will. <laughs> so call me if you want the short answer. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That is very true. Well, guys, we hope we've, you enjoyed the tour around the uh, neighborhood. And uh, we look forward to bringing you the next video on Gables on the Go. We're going to do our very best to get more videos out there. I know we've been slow lately on the channel, but we've been extremely busy and trying to get settled into our homes. So, uh, but we'll do our best to get you some more videos up there and some more of these style videos riding around, just talking and showing you the sights. And uh, you guys look forward to seeing you next time on Gables on the Go.